Hi, is it Janet? Hi, Jason. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad, thanks. It's a it's a great honor to actually finally get to speak to you. Oh, my pleasure. Great. Um, congratulations, first of all. Um, I was at a listening session at Virgin uh, on Monday, and uh, as I say, fantastic album. Oh, thanks. Great. Uh, well, so let's cut into it, because I know you are short on time. So, uh, a, a sort of an obvious one, where, where does Janet Jackson find herself in later 1997? Where do I find myself? Mm. I find myself um, looking inward, um, self-examination. Finding myself is what I'm finding myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been a journey that I'm still walking. I'm still learning, and it's been very interesting, very difficult at times, very painful. Um, but I'm working on it. That's great, great. And uh, the Velvet Rope, the new album, um, it's got some unique features um, about it. If I sort of uh, just read into it and obviously uh, read up on it, um, if compared with uh, with the earlier releases, what what did you actually do differently on this album and uh, if so, uh, why? Well, every, with every album, I always write what's going on in my life. And this is just another one of those albums that I've done. But it's more personal than any of the other ones. It's more of a self-examination, like I said before, introspective, very introspective. Um, I, I have to work like that. That's the only way I know how to work. It's the only way I would want to work. Um, by by sharing what what I'm feeling at the moment, whether it's a celebration of uh, uh, sex, w whatever it may be, whatever I'm feeling at that moment, I put it down. Okay. And uh, as I say, the, the new album has got, uh, as I say, on, on just listening to it, as I say, once as I have, um, a very sort of strong R and B feel to it. Uh, was that sort of um, a sort of a conscious move to you to move, say, even closer to to the R and B feel than what, than what you have done, say, in the past. Yeah, I purposely wanted to do that this time around. I actually had thought about doing it before with the last album because it is definitely a part of me, and um, I wound up doing other things as the project went on and, and exploring other things, but. This time around, I wanted to, I made a conscious effort to stick with it, and um, I, I feel that I did, and I'm, I, you know, I, I'm happy with the outcome of the project. And as I say, with the, um, with the theme of uh, uh, that you discussed, um, it being a very sort of personal, introspective thing, is is that uh, sort of not a dangerous place to be in the sense that you perhaps exposing a little bit too much of yourself, you know, to, to say, to the general masses? Um, I don't think that I am. Some people may think that I am. There were people that thought with the Janet album that uh, as far as uh, how uh, sensual, how, how full, full of sex it was, that it, it was a, a bit too much for some people. If it is, you know, I, I, I apologize, but it's me. And there's really no need to apologize, actually. Um, it's what I was feeling at that moment, and I like to share what I'm feeling. I know that people feel the same way. There were some people that said to me, gosh, what happened? You can't you can't tell our kids to go have sex now. What happened to, uh, let's wait a while. And I said, well, you know, that was over 10 years ago. How long do you want me to wait? At some point, you know, I'm... I have desires just like the next person. So. Yeah, so uh, with this, it may be too much for some people, but I know there are a lot of people who are on that fence, who are asking themselves questions. They don't know which direction to turn into. They don't know what they're feeling. They don't know what it is. It's just a change that's come over them, and it's very unsettling, and they want to get rid of it. Mm. And I'm just trying to show them that they're not alone. I've gone through it as well, and I'm still going through it, through it, and a way to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Because it's it's not sort of a typical route to take. Because, of, you know, typically an artist like yourself, uh, being in the position you are, um, tend to become more introvert, whereas you've gone the opposite route. 
Right. Um, most artists, I feel, wouldn't dare do something like this. They wouldn't touch it. That's not why I did it. I did it because, it once again, it, it, I was right within my heart, and it's what's in my heart. Um, some people have already said to me they feel that it's a very big risk at the level that I am to do something like this. And maybe it is, but it's something that I have to do for myself and that I want to do, so I'm going to go through with it. And, I, you know, I did. And uh, the first single... Um, got till it's gone. You've yes. you've included uh, Q-tip as well as obviously the the uh, Joni Mitchell sample. Can you sort of tell us how that track actually came together to incorporate all of that? Uh, well, it was a, a collaboration, really. Uh, Jimmy, myself, Renee, um, just coming up with ideas. I've always been a Joni Mitchell fan uh, since I was a kid. My brother Randy was really into her, and he got me in, into uh, Joni Mitchell listening to her music and uh, just putting the track together feeling that it would be great to have someone else on this track a rapper and my first choice was Q-Tip uh, we've never worked together in, in the music industry but the, the film that I did Poetic Justice we worked on that together and uh, he uh, he's just he's He's an amazing artist. He, he's a rare find in the business. His personality, he has a peacefulness about him. And it's, it's, it's so wonderful. He is such a great guy. He really is, and he's incredibly talented. And, and the sort of feeling behind the, the uh, Rod Stewart cover of Tonight's the Night, um, why, why that track significantly? That's always been one of my favorite songs. And I remember that when I was 10 years old. I think I saw him perform it on the American Music Awards or something like that. I saw him perform it somewhere. I think it was there when I was 10. And uh, I've always loved that song. And, and has he actually played the track? Have you played the track to him or got a copy to him? No, I, I actually haven't. Mm -hmm. So I, I hope he likes it. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's the same. The way we've, the, with the way we've covered it. Because it is, a, it, is a, it is actually nice, you know, to have that sort of warm... Uh, sort of obviously female vocal uh, behind it because it actually gives the, the song a whole new um, identity almost. Yes, that's what I've heard uh, people say. I've heard people say that. And, and do, you, do, you, do you see yourself having a, a specific goal um, with the new album, you know, setting for yourself? Um, I just... I just hope it, it helps. It helps people, I really do. For those who listen to it and really need to get something from it, I hope they do. Not to say that that's the only goal. Would I like to sell records? Of course I would. I'd be lying to you if I said no. But more so than anything, if I had to choose between the two, I would hope that it would help someone, one person even. And I've always been that way. Even with Rhythm Nation, that's an accomplishment for me because I know that person will go on and, and tell someone else about their discovery, about what, what they've found, and help that person. And it'll snowball. So that's what I more so than anything hopes, uh, I hope will happen. And then do you, do you find it actually getting getting easier uh, for you, or actually is it, is, it a, is it a more difficult process to actually... Um, you know, let these ideas come come free. Obviously, as you as you climb up the the, the ladder, as it were. The, the ladder, meaning the ladder of, of success. success. Mm. No, it's not more difficult for me in that way. Um, it was just a difficult. It was a difficult project for me. Period. It was just such a painful and so close to my heart. It was. It, it took. Uh, I always say it, it took 31 years to create this album because that's, that's, that's the way it is. I go back into my past with this and talk about a, a lot of different things and even talking to myself when I was a child. But um, to actually make the album, it took six months, and that's, that's long for me. I like working at a, a, a 
good pace, not rushing anything, but only having a day off a week. And uh, with this, I had to stop and take a break a few good times and come back to it. There were times when it was very difficult for me to sing certain songs. I, I couldn't stop crying. And I had to just totally cancel the session because of it and revisit it at a, a later time and finally being able to get through you know, certain, certain songs. So it was, a, it was a really different experience for me. And, and do you think, you know, when the album is, is released in September, do you think that uh, some of those demons will sort of be released um, for you? Well, I think some of those demons have been since been released. It was therapeutic at the same time, being able to write down my feelings. See, that was that was a release in itself. And finally being able to conquer uh, singing it, that was a release. There were times where certain songs were still very difficult for me to even hear after I had sang it. I couldn't even come close to listening to it, or else I'd... Like a little baby, I'd start whining all over again. But um, it's 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 gotten a lot easier as the time has passed. It's gotten easier and easier. There there are days where I go back. There's a regression. Um, but for the most part, it's getting better with each day. Great, great, great. And and so uh, when. When it came to putting the album together, who did you, who, who and why did you choose to produce with the people that you did? Um, is, it, is it your original team that you've used on the previous albums, or have you used somebody new? It's the original team. Um, I think we're great as a team. Uh, I'm very comfortable with the guys, and we leave. We know how to leave egos at the door. That's that's something that I think is very important. And I stress to, I mean, there are a couple of things that I just refuse to allow within my camp, and that's someone to kiss my ass, and uh, I refuse to have egos. Um, I hate arrogance, and there's a very fine line between uh, from being very, um, uh, what's the word? Oh, gosh, I just lost my thought. From being very um, confident, and, and, um, Zealous, perhaps. and yes, there's a, there's a, there's a very fine line mm. and I love confident people. Um, it, it does something for me. It excites me. And these are the guys that I work with, they're very creative guys and, and we work very well together and we know each other backwards and forwards. Did you actually involve yourself on all levels of the album, you know, both musically, obviously lyrically, but uh, on, a, on a musical level as well? Did you make sure that your involvement was was there as well? Well, with all the albums, I've actually written musically. Um, it's just, it's really weird. I, I, well, I produced as well uh, with the past albums as well as this one and produced the album. and. Coming up with the melodies, I've always done that for the, for the songs on the albums, uh, which I did again. Lyrically, I've always been involved as well. And musically, uh, on certain songs, I definitely got involved uh, this time around as well. Um, there have been times in the past where it was difficult for me to take credit for those things. A uh, feeling of uh, fraudulence, a feeling of worthlessness. Um, so I never felt... Uh, um, Worthy. I never felt worthy to take credit for the things that I had done, and therefore I never did. I never told people that I wrote the melodies to the songs. I never told the people that I I um, helped create the music. Um, only if they were to ask me about the lyrics would I even mention that. But um, it's 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 been a, a different road for me. Mm, sounds like it. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, as I say, as far as credits are concerned. Um, every time is now included or is included on the on the new Sydney uh, Pollack movie. That yes. is, you know, the sliding doors. How did that actually sort of all come into being? Well, Harvey Weinstein and I have been good friends for a while. And Harvey's been dying to work together. He's either coming to me with a, a film project or, 
or something and he wants to do a musical and just trying to find the right vehicle. It's been kind of difficult, but we're still working at it. And uh, he's been dying for me. He wa actually wanted me to do a song for Marvin's Gardens. He wanted me to write a song. But it was right in the middle of all this that was going on in my life. So it wasn't the right time for me. I couldn't, I couldn't create at that moment. I had to concentrate more on myself and getting through those 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 obstacles. And um, I uh, had a, an idea for a song, and I called up Harvey, and I said, look, it, um, I haven't completed the song, because I know you have to write the song with the, you know, with the, the film in mind if, if you want it for a film. I said, so, uh, I said, I happened to see, uh, read an, a synopsis on one of your guys' movies, and I think it could work, and I could, you know, make something work with the song that I have in mind. And uh, he said, great. So I, I he, he gave me the script, I read the script, and then I, I wrote the song. And I completed it, and he came over, we listened to it, and he, he absolutely loved it. Sidney Pollack and Gwyneth fell in love with it as well, from what I hear. And, uh, and that was it, basically. And all the tracks that you recorded um, for the new album, there was obviously, um, I was just reading close on, on 20 tracks that you had completed. How do, yeah. how, do, how do you actually go through that process of elimination to actually come up with the tracks that are finally seen on the album? It's, it, it's always been a problem, and I thank God it's been a problem because it's a good problem to have. It was very difficult trying to pull off certain songs. I mean, we all get in the room and we vote. Uh, we go down the line of songs, um, go down the list, and uh, we vote on it. And do I have to do it that way? No. Do I like doing it that way? Yes, because this is something we've created together as a team. Because I, I do have the final say-so. And I can easily say, screw you guys, I'm choosing this because that's the way it is. And it's my album. But we created this as a team, and that's the way I like doing it. So we vote on it. And it's it's funny because they keep saying this. Now, Jan, if you if you really like that song, you know you have the fun to say so. So I said, yes, guys, I know. I said, but I want us all to be happy. I want us to be happy. And if there's something that I just truly, truly feel way too strong on, then I'll definitely say my piece. And, and uh, to say the... Um, also, reading again, um, you are to get an award for the uh, the Lena Horn Award. And yes. How, how does that feel? It feels so good. It really does. I it, I saw a, another artist get it before, and I was thinking, wow, how exciting! That is so cool. Never thinking that I would ever receive this award, and it was so surprised. I was. I, I felt so honored, and I, I, I'm very, very happy to receive the award. I saw her show on Broadway when I was a kid. Um, her, oh gosh, what was the name of the show? Um, the Woman, or One Woman, something like that. And she talked about her struggles in the, in the business. She hadn't done anything in years, and then she finally decided to put together this show. And it was, she took it to Broadway. She talks about her struggles in her life and, and the racism at the time and what you had to do to succeed in the industry at that, in, at that time. And I remember just all the emotions in her body and, and in her, her voice just just spilling out. It was, I'll never forget it. It was beautiful. And I've always been a fan of Lena Horne. So it's, it's really an honor. What, what does it actually say to you when, when you actually um, get an award like that? Or to say, I mean, you are still to get it, but, but what does that actually say to you, you know, especially where you are in your career? Well, I always, I said, thank God, aren't I too young to be, is it like, isn't it too soon for me to be getting this? And I have to sit back and realize that I've been at this for 25 years next year. And that's, the, that's what I keep forgetting. Because it's a lifetime achievement award, and I keep thinking, well, I feel like I just started. Um, it still feels new to me. It still feels fresh to me, and I think that's a good thing. Um, when it's 
feels old and tired and I stopped growing and I have nothing left to give, then I think it's time for me to get out of this business and possibly do something else that inspires me um, or get inspiration from somewhere else. But I think that, that that's the thing that keeps hitting me. It's like, God, I, this is too soon for me to be getting this. I should, it should be later on in my career, but I've been at this for almost 25 years. So. And are, are you sort of at a point where you are sort of as motivated, say, as you were when you, know, when, when you first started your solo career specifically? Most definitely. I would say even more so now than then. Because then I was just doing what other people wanted me to do. Was I really into it? No, I wasn't. Um, I did it for others. I didn't do it for myself. And now I'm doing it for myself. Since the Control album on, I've been doing it for myself, and I feel even stronger about that today. And you've you've uh, been involved with movies. Obviously, your 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 music career is is huge. Which which of the of the two is the bigger passion for you? There's a great passion for both. I don't know if there's one over the other. I really don't. Um, because I've, I've been acting since I was 10, and I've been singing since I, first, I started singing with my brothers when I was seven, so it, it, it's, they're, they're telling me I have two minutes, so they're saying one more question after this. That's fine. Um, I can't say one over the other, I really can't. I love them both very much. And say a lot. Sorry, sorry, carry on. I'm sorry, it's just a nice break sometimes. When you've done a tour and it gets very grueling and then you can go away and totally do something else and vice versa. Uh, Janet, lastly, um, you are coming out to South Africa from what I understand. Um, will, it, will it just be a, a promotional tour? Are you expecting anything uh, from it? Uh, are you looking forward to it? You don't know how I'm looking forward to it. That's an understatement, I'm telling you. Every one of my family has gone to Africa except for myself. And this has been something that I've been dying to do for years, for years. And it's finally coming true. And uh, I, I just can't wait. I really cannot wait. And I, I want to tour. Aside from the promotional tour, I want to take the, the show there. So I've got to work things out to make it happen. It sounds excellent. Janet, thank you for your time. I, I really appreciate it. Um, congratulations on the album. Um, to say, I think it's it's going to do great things here, and I think obviously worldwide as well. But thank you very much. But, but thanks again for your time. Thank you. Great. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye now. Bye.